Good morning. Just woke up, beautiful sky, and we're really close to land. <laughs> Russia welcomes us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we are here. It was so nice to, you know, open the curtains in our cabin this morning and see the sunrise coming up and know that that was Russia outside the window. It was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, super cool. <laughs> yeah, so our boat has arrived. We're going to disembark very soon. We've got to go meet up with the excursions desk people so yes. that we can get off this ship. Exactly. And go see St. Petersburg. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go get our luggage and get off this boat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Russia. Welcome to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> coming off the Neva River. Oh yes. Just over here. Learning already. Yeah, learning, learning. <laughs> and you see some sphinxes behind us. And we're learning a lot already. And uh, I'm excited to see more of the city. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, first chance to make a wish in Russia. This is a griffin. And apparently if you put your hand on his head, and you touch his tooth, your wish will come true. Wishing, wishing, wishing. <laughs> I wish for a good 72 hours in St. Petersburg. <laughs> oh, it's so sunny. <laughs> it's so sunny, I can't even see. <laughs> his sunglasses are under the bus. Oops. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> We're down at uh, the old port of St. Petersburg, and the river is so wide here. It's over a kilometer wide. Yeah, it's enormous. And the exciting thing is that this is our first glimpse of the Hermitage. <laughs> right across the water is the Winter Palace, so. It's so stunning. It's yeah. just huge, huge, huge. And apparently the Hermitage houses three million pieces of art. Three million, yeah. One of the biggest museums in the whole world, and the by far the largest in Russia. And it is spectacular. Yeah, it's fun to see it first slip.
to the biggest church in St. Petersburg. And it sounds like right one of the biggest us. churches in the world. Yeah, one of the highest uh, in the world after, I think it's the fourth highest in the world, yeah. she said. St. Paul's, St. Mary's, St. Peter's, and St. Isaac's. Oh, St. Peter's in Rome, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, Paul, and Mary. Yeah. And Isaac. <laughs> Noticing as we, you know, we're driving around on the bus and then we're getting off and looking around. It's just the enormous scale of the city. Like yeah. it feels really spread out. Yeah. And as we're driving past buildings, you know, I'll go <laughs> to take a, a picture of the building and it lasts for like, I don't know, 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> that red and white building you were taking a photo of is the uni uh, St. Petersburg University. Okay. And it's just enormous. It went for blocks and blocks. Because <laughs> I was filming it and I was like, oh, this is really pretty. And then it just kept going and going and going. And I actually cut, I like stopped the camera because it was so long. So yeah, St. Petersburg is huge. And I didn't realize how many people live here. About five and a half million or more. Yeah. Yeah, so big city. arrived at the Church of Spilled Blood and it is stunning. Yeah. Like the sun is just shining right on it. By the way, our guide told us that St. Petersburg gets 60 days of sun a year. <laughs> so this is really special to have Super sunshine lovely. like this. So we're enjoying every second. <laughs> and I don't want to mix up the history because Russian history has a lot of Alexanders and Nicholas's, Nicholas's and um, but it's called Church of the Spilled Blood because, again, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna mix them up, but basically the emperor who was assassinated here was built by his son to pay tribute to him. It was really difficult to build because it's on a canal and it took a long time to build, but that's why it's called Church of Spilled Blood. It was his father's blood that was spilled here. <laughs> most about this church is just that it looks so Russian <laughs> with the onion shaped um what do you call that the onion shaped uh I have a lot of history to learn <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about it just the architecture looks like it looks like it's been Fabergé <laughs> <laughs> it looks like what I expected to find in Russia if that makes sense just that that onion shape I don't know and the colors and the gold yeah it's just so pretty <laughs> Will you be there to catch my fall? Do you want the window seat? Um, I want to get a chocolate bar. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I need sugar. Why it's so hard to let go? Why it's so hard to let go? We've made our way to Palace Square turn around here <laughs> as we're driving around our tour guide is constantly pointing out different palaces there's so many palaces in st. Petersburg and this one behind me is really important this beautiful like turquoise building with the Russian flag this is the winter palace and it's the main complex of the Hermitage Museum um, the Hermitage is kind of like the Smithsonian in the sense that it's tons of different buildings millions and millions of pieces of art and different objects so we're gonna go inside the main building now and I cannot wait to get a look inside. Will you be there to catch my fall? Need to be sure you hear my call. Wow. Oh my god, look at this courtyard. I absolutely love the color. The palaces in St. Petersburg are so colorful. Thank you. We're in the Hermitage. We're in the Hermitage. <laughs> Man, it's huge in here. Oh my god. Yeah. So I don't we know only where need to start. we only need 14 more days. Maybe we'll see a quarter like years, of it. I think. Yeah. <laughs> The 
just come in the main staircase here and it is like I don't have the words it's enormous and everything is just covered in gold quite an entrance if you look across the river where those two red towers are that's the old port where we were standing before when we got our first glimpse of the winter palace so <laughs> pretty amazing to be on the inside of it now looking that way The chandelier is absolutely enormous. It weighs two tons. Two tons. Reminds you a little of the Hall of Mirrors in Versailles, just yeah. a little, all the gold and how bright it is. I think we've been on a grand or something. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is daring. <laughs> yeah. This is the church where the family here used to pray, and behind the altar there you see those doors. That sep those doors separated the sin from paradise. So beyond those doors was considered to be paradise. And they would come here every day to attend church. Yeah, the peacock. It's a clock. Yeah. Owned by Catherine the Great, it was a present. And it still works. They said it, they don't want it to break, so every week they let it go once. It still works. And apparently on, when it strikes the hour, the peacock's tail goes up. I love that. Yeah, I love this stuff. time we walk into a new room big small it's just it's kind of mind-blowing like I feel very overwhelmed <laughs> this place is enormous it's gilded it's sparkling it's full of incredible artworks from around the world there's so much to see here you would need so much time <laughs> it's overwhelming but I feel happy to get to see any of it at all We just saw a picture painted by Rembrandt and in the 1970s they didn't have really any security measures here and if somebody came with acid and threw it on the painting because during the Soviet time he didn't like the, the naked body being displayed for everyone to see, I guess that was why. And it was really badly damaged and then during the restoration process, x-rays, they found out that that picture of the woman wasn't the original painting that Rembrandt painted, it was actually of his wife. And the man sort of peeking up behind the curtain, that's a portrait of Rembrandt, a self-portrait that he put in the painting. So really interesting story about that one. I feel like I'm living in a dream. 
Like we got off this boat and like I'm still processing leaving Finland. We're being in Russia to begin with and yeah. all of a sudden we're just walking through the Hermitage. Yeah, exactly. Like, like rooms full of Italian Renaissance and Rembrandt and Spanish room with Goya and all I know. this. Oh, it's insane. It, it honestly was so overwhelming because when you're walking through, you, you, you just, it just keeps upping the ante, like yeah. every room you walk through and it's so vast and you see hallway after hallway, you know, going this way and that way and... The most beautiful chandelier you've ever seen followed by <laughs> the next most beautiful chandelier yeah, you've ever seen. It's just opulent. Oh my god. Total, total opulent yeah. luxury. So we've got our bags and now we are making our way to our hotel. We made it to our hotel, tried out a new app, our first Russian app. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I actually tried to open the Uber app and it made me download the Russian version of Uber called Yandex. Yeah, Yandex Taxi or something. Yeah. So got to try that out and got some more, kind of just how big St. Petersburg is. It really it's is. Immense. It's a big city. <laughs> it's a really big city. It looks really small on the map and then you realize it's like a 45 minute to two hour long walk. Yeah, the scale when you're looking at the map is quite big. Yeah. Anyway, I can't believe I'm just looking at my watch here. 24 hours ago, we were checking in to the to the ship and getting on and about to leave from Helsinki. And now it's only been 24 hours. We've left Helsinki, we've sailed across the Baltic Sea, we've arrived in St. Petersburg, we and we've had the day the in St. Petersburg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And done all of the sightseeing mm -hmm. already, so we said we would hit the ground running, and we definitely we really did. have. Yeah, and all without a visa, which is quite convenient. that's very, very cool. <laughs> yes, so uh, so I think we're gonna call it a night, yeah. and um, we're also doing a lot of stuff on Instagram, so make sure you check out Instagram for more photos and stories and all that good stuff. Yeah, so hopefully yeah. you guys liked the video. Make sure you give it a, a like if you did. <laughs> and subscribe for lots more travel adventures. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.